So I want to welcome each and every one of you here this morning to episode number 1,200, 1,200 episodes, topic title for today, having a clear conscience. Go ahead and write that down, having a clear conscience. This is a big subject, and I want to talk about this because I think that everyone has been, you know, through situations of having some guilt, maybe you have some shame. You know, maybe you're wanting to kind of clear yourself of some of the stuff that you've done in the past, okay? And so I've found that having a clear conscience is going to affect your business in a positive way. It's going to affect your relationships. It's going to affect even your motivation. So when you think about your conscience, you got to think about it as like the compass of the soul is the way I like to put it. And what happens is it works like this inward monitor similar to an alarm okay so you have alarms going off every morning so when you're about to do something that's not going to be beneficial to you right that alarm goes off there's something that's going to get you in trouble right what happens is your conscience causes you to feel uneasy okay and and, and here's the recommendation i want to give you guys today in regards to this do not ignore the warning because that is your conscience talking to you helping you to know what is right and what is wrong and my opinion is that i think that we could avoid a great deal of trouble and heartache if we just maintain a more tender conscience i hear people all the time say in fact i heard it yesterday i know i shouldn't do this i know i shouldn't say this or i know that i shouldn't buy this but they know what they should do the alarm is going off they feel a sense of disapproval but what happens they choose to disobey their own conscience And so my feeling is you're not going to continue to get these warnings if you continue to disobey these feelings, these alarms that you have going off. So don't make the mistake of overriding your conscience. You've got to respect it. You've got to learn to be sensitive to it. Stop stop when your conscience says stop. Like quit having to have the last word, right? Pay attention to what you're feeling on the inside. This is something that I use in my own marriage. There's certain times where I want to say certain things to my wife, and I'm sure she does me. <laughs> my conscience will tell me, don't say that unless you want to sleep on the couch, Brandon. You know what I'm saying? Like That's not going to help you feel better about Jamie. That's not going to help you with your relationship with your kids. So I want you to listen to your conscience. Okay, If you will learn to be sensitive and listen to your conscience, I believe that God is going to help keep you out of trouble. He's going to help you make good decisions. He's going to help protect you from danger. You see, before you can step into trouble and make a poor decision, there's always going to be a warning that is provided for you. So this alarm is going to sound on the inside every time that you ignore your conscience. So the next time that voice is going to speak a little more softly, because it becomes more and more dim when you don't obey. It's not going to continue to happen. It's not going to come your way. You're not going to feel it. Unfortunately, you can actually get to a place where you have totally drowned out the voice of your conscience. In fact, you can even become numb to it altogether. Like, I don't feel anything. Well, you may have disobeyed that inner voice for too long. You can get to a place where you have overridden your conscience so often that it becomes what's called desensitized. Whether people are on drugs, whether they're looking at porn, they can become desensitized. And it's as if they don't even have feeling. And I found that the more obedient that we are, the easier it becomes, because what happens is obedience breeds obedience. I tell my kids all the time, delayed obedience is disobedience. And unfortunately, the opposite is also true. None of us are perfect. All of us make mistakes, but we can learn to obey our own conscience. It's there for a reason. So when you have this guilty conscience, whether you're cheating on your spouse or your partner, whether you're looking at porn behind their back, whether you're cheating at work, cheating on your taxes, whatever the situation is, you don't feel good about yourself. You're not going to be happy. You're going to feel condemned. You don't expect good things. And guess what? You usually won't receive them because you've numbed your conscience. 
And so some advice that I'd like to give to you guys today is swallow your pride and be quick to obey. Apologize to the people that you have offended. So don't live with a guilty conscience. I know for myself and my wife, I want to live every day having a clear conscience, knowing that I treat her well, that I'm 100% faithful to her. I have a clear conscience void of offense. Like you've got to live your life with a clear conscience. I was actually reading yesterday in the book of Matthew. And what it said is that the lamp of the body is the eye. So your spiritual eye is your conscience. Think about that. If your eye is clear, the whole body will be filled with light. And so in other words, if your conscience is clear, life is good. That's the cliff notes. You're going to be happy. And if it's not, you're going to be unhappy. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty simple thing if you think about it. And then I read the next verse and it, it describes, I think a lot of people says, if your conscience is full of darkness, then how dense will that darkness be? I think a lot of people live a life right now in darkness. They've got these nagging feelings. Yes, something is always bothering them. And guess what happens? They go off on people. They're not happy. And the problem is, is that they don't have a clear conscience. They have ignored the warnings for too long. And what happens is that they have gotten hard and cold in certain areas. In fact, the good book even says that in the final days that people's hearts will become cold. They've literally become hard and cold. And what happens is this insensitivity is not going to change until you make the proper adjustments. So if there's things that you're doing that you know that you should not be doing, make some adjustments. And yes, this is actually does have an effect on your business. There's no question about it because it affects your motivation. And so whatever it is, I want you guys to make a decision today that you're going to pay more attention to your conscience and that you're going to be quick to obey the promptings. And guess what's going to happen? The heaviness of your life will leave. You will feel like that this weight has almost been lifted off of your shoulders. Like that you've been able to wipe the slate clean and start over. Because when we have a clear conscience, we can be happy. Like I know for myself, and I know that I'm not perfect, but I do know this. My, my conscience is clear before God. I know that I'm doing my best to please him. And that's why I can sleep well at night. That's why I can lay down at night in peace. Okay, so guys, keep your conscience clear. Keep your conscience tender. And you will discover that your life will keep getting better and better for you. That's what we need in our day today. We need more people that have a clear conscience. We need more people who are obedient to that inner voice that comes to you. We need more people who obey that inner voice that comes to them, right? When you feel that prompting inside, just like Nike says, just do it. Like follow the prompting, have a clear conscience and start living the life that you guys were designed to live. Guys, this is going to be an amazing week. I want to thank you for being on episode number 1,200. And we will see each of you at the top and on the other side of success. Guys, if you like the message today, put an amen inside the chat. This is Brandon Boyce signing off. Have a good day, everyone.